So we study the wasting condition called cachexia. It's recognizable to patients as weight loss. So patients will lose weight despite the fact they're eating normally and exercising normally. And that's due to the effect of the tumor. So it's not because they don't want to eat enough or that they can't eat enough, but really the tumor is causing the metabolism and the immune system to eat away at the body. Our lab strives for nothing less than to completely change the standard of care when it comes to cancer cachexia. Currently there is no approved therapy for cancer cachexia, and that's partly because there's so little research done in this field. There are fewer than 200 researchers around the world who study this. There have been fewer than 200 clinical trials done. That's in contrast to, say, lung cancer, which is 7,040. So by bringing our discoveries from the lab into the clinic, we strive to improve a patient's chance of cure, improve their quality of life, and their length of life. Our research matters because currently cachexia is understudied. So it's this weight loss that kills probably 30% of all patients with cancer, and there's very little research activity. So we need to um, do everything we can to understand this from a scientific perspective and everything we can to train other scientists to take up the charge. As well, we've had to um, educate funding agencies and legislators about the importance of this field and to tell patients themselves about cachexia. They often don't understand it. When I got my first grant for cancer cachexia, uh, my program officer at the National Cancer Institute told me there were exactly three grants in this subject. And that's despite the fact that 30% of patients die of cachexia. If it weren't for donors coming forward and enabling early stage research, the exponential growth that we've seen in our field would just not have been possible. So we're so grateful to the um, donors that have contributed to our research. It's enabled us to take on projects that we could otherwise never have done. It's really been essential to our progress, the donors, their philanthropy, and the participation of the patients.